And Governor DeSantis also in a battle with Disney over its opposition to his so-called Don't Say Gay bill. That's why one state is now offering Disney World a new home if it needs a place to land after the fallout. North Carolina State Senator Michael Garrett filed the Mickey's Freedom Restoration Act, and it would give Disney a place to move. The Magic Kingdom, Epcot Center, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, all of those parks, hotels, golf courses. Garrett and some other lawmakers want to study what it would take to lure the company to the Tar Heel State, starting with 750,000 in July. Joining us now is North Carolina Senator Michael Garrett. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Natasha. I appreciate it. And Senator, you've said that you, quote, welcome Disney and all other businesses seeking refuge from the culture war madness currently gripping the great state of Florida. When was the moment that you realized there was an opportunity for this bill? Well, you know, in North Carolina, we've we've actually had these unfortunate missteps ourselves. In 2018, HB2 was known as the bathroom bill, and uh, states all across the United States came knocking at our door uh, to try to steal our businesses from our state. So we know here in North Carolina all too well that culture wars are bad for business, and that when politicians put their partisan agenda and their political ambitions above economic prosperity of the families in their state, that makes them a liability. Interesting. Um, yeah. So, you know, when, when the governor signed the Don't Say Gay bill uh, into law and many people in the business community started voicing their opposition towards it, uh, including the Walt Disney Company, uh, and he's continued to just double down. It creates quite an opportunity for other states across the country, like North Carolina, uh, to talk to those business leaders and say, look, you, there are other options for you. Businesses are not married to one state. That's what's a beautiful thing about a free market economy. Um, so, you know, we wanted to make sure that they know that we're willing and welcome, uh, welcoming place for the Walt Disney Company here in North Carolina. Interesting, and pardon the interruption earlier. What uh, is the advice, what is the message that you would have for DeSantis based on what you've learned? Culture wars are bad for business. Um, they're bad for your state. They're bad for people. Yeah, it might win you some political points with your base in the short term, but your state pays in the long term. HB2 cost our state's economy roughly $6 billion. Um, and that's still something that we are working uh, to build back from. You know, we were very fortunate last year, CNBC ranked North Carolina as a top state for business. And one of the things that they mentioned that set uh, North Carolina apart from our Southern peers, where we had a divided government, where the Democrats controlled the governor's mansion and the Republicans controlled the legislature. But both parties were able to work together, set the culture wards aside, and focus on economic development, economic prosperity, and the education of the people of the state of North Carolina. And I think you can look to North Carolina's history and our past and learn a good lesson and don't repeat the mistakes that we did. Uh, Senator, um, would this bill allow Disney to maintain its own sort of de facto government if it moved to North Carolina? Well, that is um, something that the commission would determine part of you know, what, what we wanted to put the subject matter experts in the room to make a decision not, not only on what that governance structure looks like, but also what infrastructure investments the state might need to make for whatever site we prepare and whatever uh, tax incentive package we might need to push forward to make uh, it, it financially doable for a company like the Walt Disney Company to relocate uh, to the great state of North Carolina. Yeah. So we're going to really and Senator, Sorry, up. Senator, we're almost out of time. Any response from Disney so far? Uh, they just got the bill at the end of last week. Um, we haven't heard from them yet, um, but I will check in with our Commerce Secretary and I'll keep you updated. Well, we'll give them a few business days to respond. They have their hands full, I think. Uh, Senator Michael Garrett, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.